What's going on guys? I'm Victor of Saving Skylands and today we're going to be checking out my entire collection pretty much. Um, this is just a recap on this year, um, recap on my whole YouTube, my social media uh, creation and where I'm at now. Also why I did it and more importantly everything that I've bought this year since like January of 2021. Um, and the reasons why. So yeah, stick around, it's gonna be a fun one and a little bit longer, but um, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so how did this this all start? That's probably what you're asking, this this obsession. Um, you know, in early 2021, COVID was really kicking our asses still. It was really, really doing a number. I was working a ton, um, getting like, a lot of hours, 60 hours a week, and I needed an escape. And there's some games you can only play so many times. And I personally like story mode games, so like my personal favorite game is Spider-Man uh, PS4. So you can't really replay that more than two or three times before you kind of get tired of it. Um, and that's with all the bonus missions. So I ended up finding my old Skylanders, which all I had was a shoebox. I had a Reebok shoe, or no. It was an Adidas shoebox. It was a black shoebox. I might actually still have it, but um, that's that was all my Skylanders, all my traps, all my vehicles, everything I ever had right there for like nine years. That's all I had. And then I got back into it. I was replaying the games. Um, and then I was like, I'm missing a game. There was a whole other game. So I bought the game off of my current seller, who I always shout out, Katie Bennett, you know, Facebook Marketplace. And um, I just started going on a spending spree. This year, I don't even want to do the math. I've probably spent a few hundred dollars, like probably five or six, seven hundred dollars on Skylanders this year, and games and equipment and everything else to do on YouTube channel. Because when I was buying these Skylanders and these games, I had no intention on creating content. And when I was playing the games, I was obviously super intrigued. It was bringing back a ton of nostalgia. And um, I was curious if the content creators that I had watched early, you know, on a few years back were still doing it. And lucky to know it, they were. So like the big ones that I would watch was like Crash of Skylands, Portal Power TV, Ignite the Fire, Skylander Gamer TV. I would watch them like religiously every day at work on break, um, at home whenever I had a break. Like whenever I could, I was watching them. And then I had thought about it and I was like, I could do that. I was like, I have the ability to do that. And I didn't at the time, but I tried. Um, and then May came around, which was several months after I'd gotten back into Skylanders. May came around, I think it was like May 7th, I think my first video was released. All I had was the cabinet you guys will see later in the video. Um, and it had a bunch of Skylanders in it, way more than I had at the beginning. So this was like well into my shopping spree of 2021. Um, but it was that was it you guys can still check it out it's still down there of my whole entire collection it it was i mean it's a good collection but not what i have now um but that was the video i posted i remember my first subscriber i remember still know him now his name was lunar wolf guitar i still remember that i don't know the little things like that mean so much to me and they stick in my brain but um i never expected it to reach to this point where right now as of recording this on Christmas Day was yesterday. So we just hit 2,000 subscribers. So that was my Christmas, Christmas gift from you guys. So thank you guys for that. That means the world. I never would have thought I would have gotten here. But um, no, I never had intentions to blowing up like the way it did kind of. Um, I'm still on the smaller side, but I mean, I'm having fun. And literally that's what it was. I was just having so much fun and making so many new friends, content creators, people I could relate with and enjoy something with which i don't have a brother i have two sisters and they're moved out so like i was playing this alone and you know it could get tiring or just boring when you're playing a game alone and uh so the youtube thing nobody knew about it, it like nobody i knew personally and then i think august rolled around around me and elizabeth's one year and i had told her and I was not expecting it to go well, but I had to tell her because I was disappearing for late nights to record videos. I was disappearing like from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. recording videos, editing videos, and um, 
she was just kind of wondering, I think, where, where I was going, and obviously she deserved the answer. So I never would have thought that she'd be making content with me as well and enjoying all the games with me as well, which we completed all the games. So prepare in 2022 to have uh, couples locks or solo runs together. It would be duo runs, but um, wow, that was a good idea. Write that down. Anyways, um, but no, she's she's been a saint. It's been fantastic. Um, going from having a shoebox of Skylanders and to 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, 31,000 on TikTok as of right now, a girlfriend that plays all the games, enjoys all the games, makes content with me, and it's just, everything's going perfect right now to the point where I'm wondering when's it gonna go wrong, but I don't see it happening. I'm here for a while, and I just got monetized, so thank you guys for that. Uh, finally got my watch hours up there, so thank you guys for that. Um, so, you know, I could spend more money on Skylanders because I need that. i um, not excited to take all these off the wall, but um, that is about what time it is. So, if you made it to this point, it is time to see what I bought this year. Oh boy. So now it is time for this fun adventure, taking everything I bought this year off the shelf. And I'm put it on my bed and then probably sit in my spare chair over here and pick out probably my like 10 favorite things that I've gotten this year. And uh, that's what I want you guys to comment this year as well. Um, what was the number one thing you guys got from Skylanders this year? Um, that's like, this is my favorite thing now. So yeah, time to grab this basket and uh, go to town. All right, gotta set up the time lapse now. So you guys definitely don't know that definitely just took me like 25 minutes but for you guys it was like 15 seconds um wow that was a lot of stuff and a lot of nostalgia and uh i'm gonna show you guys what's left on my shelf um wait i totally missed some there's a whole other cabinet back to the time lapse Okay, so, wow, I've bought a lot this year. Everything you see uh, out right now, I have purchased this year. So now I think it's more than the original, you know, that I thought I had spent. But there's another pile down here, down here, and down here. I don't know if you guys can see, but they are sorted out by game. But I think I'm going to pick my favorite piece from every little pile. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to show you guys what my shelves look like right now, because... Wow, it's hitting home, like how much I started with and how much I have now. And wow. All right. I hate to leave this beautiful lighting, but I'm going to have to, um, to show you guys what my collections look like now. So, oh boy. So this was my entire Spire's Adventure collection. As a kid, this is all I ever used. Yeah. And then these are all my variants that I, I had. <laughs> Four. Um... There you go. We got two Swampers and then two Legendary up there. So I only have four growing up. I did have traps growing up. Not very many new ones um, because I just I don't look really into collecting those right now. But those are all the Trap Team cores and mini as I have. And if we go right back to the top, this is how many uh, Senseis I had because I never had the game until this year. Now if we head down here, uh, there's my Superchargers collection. That's all I had. Three Superchargers, High Volt, Spitfire, and Super Shot Stealth Elf. And then the Sea Shadow, Hot Streak, and Sunrunner, Legendary Sunrunner. That's all I ever had. So now as I try not to trip on anything, we're going to sit down and just admire. Those are all the Swap Force cores that I had. That's all of them. Right there. Four. Um, Trap Masters, I only had five. Um, and Giants characters, I definitely had the most of. These are all my like Series 2s and Giants characters. And then my Giants back there. Um, that's all I ever had. And, uh, yeah. There you go. That's that's all I ever really had. I mean, you got look at this. 
This is all this year. I have a problem. <laughs> So now that you guys can see everything that I bought, I'm going to pick like my top five favorite things out of here. And uh, even I, I've never like rehearsed this, so I really don't know what is my favorite. Um, obviously, my signed Thrillipede by Brylander, you know, Portal Power TV, definitely up there. Um, so I'll set him aside. Um, my senseis, eh, I mean, I love them, obviously, but none of them have like a sentimental meaning to me or like. A strong connection towards it. Um, I love, as I say, I don't have sentimental value to um, senseis. I pull out a sensei. My probably my second favorite variant now. Jolly Bumble Blast is getting a run for his money currently. Um, my swappers. Oh, I could say Magna Charge because I always wanted him as a kid. Not here. Definitely. My metallic green go grunt sent to me by Emma and Steel, aka What the Pop and What the Skylanders. Um, shout out to them. They sent me this. And uh, see, th those just have sentimental meanings to me. Like, if I had to get rid of all these, I would keep those. Um, I could say my legendary tree rex too. I just love what you guys send me. That's it, They just mean so much. Oh, uh, my metallic purple. They're, they're everywhere. I just, you know what, for being my favorite trap master, my favorite trap master and the, the key to repairing Skylanders badly, which was my first video ever on this channel to break 1000 views, which is pretty, pretty damn good. I struggle to break that sometimes still. So, uh, wallop number four and my last, my last thing, what am I going to choose? Let's go into variants, because I feel like that's a go-to, but I don't think I'm going to choose a variant. My Spire's Adventure characters I'm not going to bother with. In Vox, I think I'm done with the whole sentimental value thing. Um, even though I love Winterfest Lobstar, but... Um, gosh, I just don't know. I, they all just mean so much. Um, Doomstone was the last I, swapper I needed to complete my Swap Force collection. Um, I had bought like all my superchargers at once. Katie Bennett had a sale where like they were all half price, so I was like, give me them all. Ah, I'm tripping on them down here. Oh, you know what? I know exactly what it is. Pop thorn. In honor of having like the greatest girlfriend on the planet to have to play with you, and this is her favorite character. This one means more to me now than I ever would have thought a Skyliner meant to me. It just has a totally different meaning. Um, it's it's her favorite character, and I couldn't have asked for you know a better girlfriend to do all this with me. So, thanks, Elizabeth. I know you're watching. So there you guys go. Those are my my top five favorite things. Uh, I'll show you guys again. We have metallic green gold grunt right here. We have signed uh, by Brylander, Thrillipede. We have my Wallop, which is my favorite trap master. Hardboiled Flare Wolf, sent to me by OCD, Obsessive Collector's Disorder. I never remember it, but it's somewhere along those lines, but he sent me this. I'm very grateful for it. He looks so cool in-game. And then Popthorn, because of Elizabeth. So, yeah, those are my favorite things that I've collected this year, and everything I've collected this year. Um, putting this back is going to be a you-know-what. <sighs> I'm not excited, but um, I'll just... I'll give you guys a look at everything uh, that I bought up close. So, uh, yeah, cut to me doing that. So now to show you guys everything I bought this year. Yeah, it gets kind of nuts. But uh, up close. So we'll just get started. These are the uh, items that I was just telling you guys about. Um, they're set off to the side over here. Um, here are all my senseis. Emperor's, like, broken half, but she's hot glued, so I'm not taking a chance. All of my senseis. I'm only missing, like, five, maybe. Trap Team Cores, Trap Team Stuff, even though it's Superchargers, but, you know, Groot Arm, Repairing Skylanders Badly, one of my first good videos, <laughs> Superchargers, um, somehow Trap Team Core rolled over here, um, oh, we got, oh, Variant, oh, it's Variants, that's what it was, alright, so all my Variants, 
all my spires adventure now <sighs> all my swappers gosh i can't believe i paid 15 bucks for this dude what a rip off dumb stone i tell you what he's unbeatable in pvp almost but um otherwise don't like using all of my inbox skylanders we got, you know, Gilgrunt. You guys told me to unbox all these once upon a time in my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, there's a whole section of my channel, a playlist of unboxing videos. So you can see me, my first reaction to every one of these. So if you guys are interested in that, you can definitely check those out. Um, Inbox Enigma. I remember I got like this one, a bunch of like buckshot together, I think, like within the same video. Um, Tide Pool, super cool. One of my favorite, one of my favorite again, and one of my favorite again. So, then we got this game. Me, me and Elizabeth need to play. We'll get to it eventually. Um, then chase variants right here, and also customs. Um, then my custom Warnado is on the floor somewhere. He's down here. Here's my Swap Force cores that I've collected, which is literally most of them. Your typical Skylanders Enjoyer um, painted this for me. Pretty cool. I love it. Which, speaking of customs, I plan on doing some customs this year, because I have some duplicates and... We're gonna do some customs, so prepare for that video. Or videos. So here's my, all my new stuff of this year. I never, I can't believe I never had eyebrow. Like I got him at the beginning of like all this. Series two drill sergeant picked him up. Literally, so many of those are just completionist kind of things. Like I don't want them. Like I don't want a series two wreck ball, wrecking ball, but for the sake of having a whole collection. What the heck is that? Oh, twisty top. Anyways, now we're heading into the expensive land. I don't know why these are so expensive, but remember I got these two. Actually, not this one in particular, because I have a box of duplicates, but, you know, there's nothing new in there. Um, I got one that was chewed on by a dog, and Katie Bennett sold both of these to me for, like, 15 bucks, so that was super cool. And then I got a second one from Facebook Marketplace that's not eaten. And so I was allowed to go two different paths, so that was cool. All my Trap Masters Wildfire I was really excited for. Crypt King is my second favorite. And Thunderbolt, which is Toothbrush. So, if you guys know the story behind Toothbrush, it's repairing Skylanders badly. I think number two. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Anyways, so yeah, that is everything that I have collected this year. It does get... Oh, God, I just blinded myself. It does get kind of crazy. Um, and now I'm going to spend the next hour putting this away. Oh, wait, no. We forgot all of this fun stuff. Literally every magic item and everything I own, chess, brand new, like, hit all of this year. Um, imaginary crystals. Jeez, you got hundreds of dollars in there. Um, and vehicles. So, yeah. Two dive bombers now. And the sun, normal sun runner. You know, just two, I two shark things. You know, whatever they're called. Shark tanks. So, maybe we'll do a custom one of those too. So, yeah. So, from my super, super uncomfortable, empty walls. You know what? Actually, we're going to bring someone down special for this. Green Gill Grunt. Oh, my starter pack of Spire's Adventure over 10 years ago. What started it all? Anyways, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you guys for 1,000, then 1,500, and then 2,000. You guys are supporting me on TikTok. If you're from TikTok, thank you for coming over. Um, 30K on TikTok. I've already been monetized on it. It's nuts. I just, I have so much appreciation for you guys, and I'm loving what I'm doing, and I'm having so much fun. I know Elizabeth is too. And um we can't wait to expand and start making content on our other channel which is just purely gaming and maybe reactions and stuff like that as well but um yeah going into 2022 expect like uh like three videos four videos a week still very consistent so um yeah let's get it let's get this new year uh 2022 the year for what three thousand if we got two if we got two thousand subscribers in like eight months we can get to 4,000 by the end of 2022 I don't know let me know in the comments what what the new goal should be and I'll go from there anyways uh don't forget comment down below your favorite thing that you've collected this year Skylanders and uh yeah that's really all I have for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did I'm not going to enjoy putting all the figures back but at the same time I'm a clean freak so I might enjoy it so yeah from me and Green Gill Grunt thank you guys so much and uh, we'll see you guys next year. I just made a dad joke. God damn it.